Hi, my name is Dave Martin, and I created the YouTube channel called Creo Parametric. Full disclosure, I am not PTC. I firmly believe that YouTube needs more channels dedicated to computer-aided design. This video is about helping you start one. I'm going to talk about the equipment and software you need. There are some things I'm not going to cover. How to write scripts, how to find models to use in your videos, and how to deliver training content. Here's a hint. Become an instructor for the software that you want to make videos for. So let's say that you want to start your YouTube channel for computer-aided design. I assume that you have a computer and access to the software that you want to make videos for. Let's talk about the practical setup for audio and video. I started my channel for $52 back in 2018 with the purchase of this Blue Snowball microphone. I think it's going for about $40 on Amazon today. It plugs right into the USB port on your computer. If you go back to my early videos, I think it sounded decent. Not perfect, but good enough for YouTube. Then, about a year after that, I spent another $10 on this microphone filter. Last summer, I went big time with the purchase of a Shure MV7 microphone. So, for the first five years on my channel, I spent a whopping $62 on audio equipment. Now let's talk about software. The good news is you do not have to pay for software for making YouTube videos. When I started, I went with free choices. When I started, I also didn't know much about video recording or editing software. So like most people, I spent a few hours on Google researching the different choices. I didn't want to get stuck in analysis paralysis. I used to work for Amazon and Blue Origin and Jeff Bezos used to talk about one-way door decisions and two-way door decisions. He said that we have to get comfortable with making two-way door decisions quickly. And so, since I was using free software, I decided to make my choices quickly, and if I made the wrong decision, the worst would be I'd be out of a few hours of my time. For screen recording, I went with OBS Studio. It's very popular with people who stream video games. That assured me that there would be a lot of support for this free app. Now, the first time that I used it, I had some trouble getting it to record my screen. So I spent some time on Google and the OBS Studio forums, and I was able to find a combination of settings that worked. For video editing, I went with Shotcut. There are tons of free tutorials on YouTube. It takes maybe half an hour to learn the basics in order to cut your first video. And that's important. Learn just enough to edit your first video. Everything else you'll pick up over time. Other people swear by DaVinci Resolve. I've never used it, but I'm sure it's fine. Then, after a couple years, I switched over to Camtasia. But the first 500 videos of my channel were made with free editing software. The best advice I can give you is like Bo Jackson says, just do it. I had the idea for my channel on a Sunday. I recorded the audio on a Monday, and then I did the screen recordings on a Tuesday. And that's one of the only times for my channel where I've done the audio and the video separately. Then I edited the video and released it on a Wednesday. Looking back, I kick myself for taking so long to release my first video. In reality, it was longer than that, but that's a story for another day. The important thing is, if you want to make a channel, just do it. So, why do I do it? Why should you do it? Well, for me, I love creating. I love making something and putting it out into the world, especially if it's something that can help people. A viewer once told me that they got a job because of my channel. That is huge. Second, if you want to master a subject, teach that subject to other people. If you want to master computer-aided design, teach computer-aided design. But most of all, if you have something that you can share with the world, share it. So anyhow, let me know what you think about this first video about making videos. In the future, I will cover subjects like how to make better videos, things that I've learned, 
and how much money I make or don't make on YouTube. Thanks a lot.